Good morning everyone. Well, I've come to Pearl Beach this morning to paint another sunrise. I haven't done a good sunrise painting for a while, so I thought now's my chance to uh, get back in the game and deliver a good painting. So, looks like they said that there's a 70% chance of rain coming. So, um, hopefully I can get a bit of a sunrise before a bit of rain comes, but it's going to clear up again after the, the shower. So, um, I might be okay. I'm just thinking like where to locate myself. So it's about 11 degrees, which is like 51 Fahrenheit, something like that. So uh, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. Okay, so yeah, here I am at Pearl Beach. You've got Boxhead out there. So even though there's a lot of dark cloud, there could be a great sunrise coming in about 20 minutes. There is a ship out there. I actually thought, is that the sun out already? But it's not. It's a, there's a ship out there. So um. There might be some. There's a bit of there's a bit of mood, so I might get something good. So um, the tide's coming in, the wind's not too bad. So uh, yeah, I'll get set up, and um, hopefully we'll get a good painting. Uh, what I've done is I've pre-mixed a grey and I've pre-mixed an orange, a cat orange, cat yellow uh, colour. So I've got like a base to work with. So that will help me this morning. Um, try and nail the colours. So yeah, I'm keen, pumped, want to get a good painting done. Beautiful coastal sunrise painting. So uh, yeah, let's get set up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my composition in place. I've got about 10 minutes till the sunrise. So I'll get my composition, what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some foreground rocks in. You can see down here, I'm going to put some foreground rocks in. A broken wave, probably that headland over there. Oh, yeah, I will put the headland in. And um, hopefully we get some good clouds coming. So yeah, that's the plan. Quickly get this wash in. Starting the rain a little bit now. Hopefully it'll just go over. It won't be a pain in the ass. So um, let's hope. Gee, that rainbow was nice. Okay, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna get me clouds in. Try and get something going. At the moment, it just looks like a pattern of two. You've got the the sun where the sun's coming up, and then you've got all this grey, and it breaks off. I do like that, but I want to get something. Hopefully, some clouds. You can see out there past the uh, past box head. You can see there's some clouds. Hopefully, it can break up a little bit, and we will get some nice patterns. Um, if you don't, you can use your artistic license or just paint what you see. So um, I'm going to try and do a bit of both.
Put a bit of a sun shower coming through, and the sun's coming through now, folks. I just need this this rain to uh, stop because I don't want to get all my board wet and it'll become a hassle to work with. So um, hopefully it will just stop. Well, that's good that that um rain didn't hang around too long but um I, it could get worse so i'm just going to keep working what i'm doing is i'm just building up my sky i'm working really thin and i'm just working the paint letting the paint do its job i'm not going too thick uh i found with with sunrises and sunsets you can paint a thick painting if you get your colors right but um i find by if i want to get a really um wispy sky um, and get the colours clean. I, I just use one soft brush and just work with that, and hopefully it'll be all right. But I uh, have a look. Looks like this sun's going, so I got to get something happening right now. What I've done is I've mixed up a um, I've mixed up an orange, I've mixed up a grey, and I'm using Viridian, lemon yellow, Elysium crimson, uh, Cad orange, burnt sienna, cobalt blue, sapphire, ultramarine blue, and titanium white. The trials and tribulations of playing air painting. There goes my sunrise, it's gone. It's gone all grey. But anyway, I've got it in here. I've got the basic setup, what I wanted and what I had when I first seen it, and I just keep working with that, even if it go the day goes pear-shaped. I'll be right. I've still got some colours here uh, in place and I can work with that. So the thing is don't change your painting of what you see because you're gonna end up with a mess. So I made up this this grey colour and um, I can cool it by adding ultramarine blue and um, which is actually a warm a warm blue but I'm painting the sunrise and then I can warm it up by adding cat orange to it so I can go either way so further from the sun I want it cooler you know so see how it looks see how it turns out Basically just want to create some atmosphere in this little piece. What I'm doing now is I've just done the headland. I'm just going to get my water in place and then I can really build that sky up. So I've mixed um, 
ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, a bit of my orange, uh, sky color, which is cad yellow, cad orange, and uh, titanium white. And I'm, I've added, um, yeah, basically a little bit of ultramarine blue to that mix as well. So I've got, I've come up with this, this color here, which is close enough to the sea, and I'm going to get that in now, just loosely, so I see, I can see what I'm looking at. Got a bit of cobalt blue in it as well, that colour. I will build it up, I'm just trying to get establish some colours. Add a bit of that purple to it. Well, wow, that weather's going really crappy now. I'm not really worried about the weather because I've already established my painting, what I'm going to do. I just don't want to get wet. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've all been doing well. I've been going to Cal, I've just been very busy these days, like just with everyday life and work. And, um, sort of lost the passion to paint but um i've got it back now I, I feel real hungry again so we have those little um artist blocks at times so hopefully this painting will turn out good and it'll give me that encouragement to soldier on I'm just um, building up the sky now, little by little. The key is not to overdo it, just get some mood. Hopefully, not overwork it. Wind's really picked up now. Get some waves in place. I'll use a pallet knife for the foreground, eh? I 
I'll have a look at the sky. I might tweak it a little bit, a little bit later. Okay, just going to establish some waves now. When the waves actually break they're a bit darker underneath so I'm trying to sort of get that happening. We have a colour here I've mixed up, a bit of uh, Benciana and uh, Sapphire and Ultramarine Blue, a bit of my sky colour. Yeah, it's a darker colour, it's something like that. I think that's a good colour to work with. Definitely, definitely on a winner with that colour. I've got to try and remember what I had and make some more. Tiny bit of yellow ochre that I didn't even put out, but just remnants of it. Okay, I've done the painting, everyone, here at uh, Pearl Beach. Well, I've had about four seasons in one morning, but anyway, I'll show you guys. Let's have a look at the painting. So yeah, there you go, there's my painting. Just hope the wind doesn't blow it away because I've got, got a little unpinned at the moment or unclamped. But um, yeah, tell me what you think in the comments. Do you, do you think I got a um, half decent painting? I think it turned out okay. It's quite easy to overwork it, but um, hopefully it's okay. So um, tell me what you think in the comments. Think I got mood in there? Let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming along and um, yeah, I'm happy to uh, be back in the saddle and uh, trying to paint better and um, it's getting colder here, but not too cold compared to some of you guys. It's pretty mild actually. You can handle it. <laughs> anyway, take care. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for coming along. See ya.